Hi, Billy here again, and I'm here with Renee from Heartland. Today, we're going to show you how to shingle a wooden storage shed roof. Now, it is very important to shingle your roof properly to avoid any damage from the elements and to have a great looking shed. So let's take a look back to see how we shingled our roof. Today, as you can see, we will be shingling a barn style roof, but the shingling process is similar with all Heartland Shed roof styles. It's important to start with a smooth, even roof. So we made sure we assembled our rafters the same and installed roof panels squarely. Our Heartland storage kit included everything to build our roof, but in addition, we'll need some materials to shingle it. We need some roofing felt and drip edge. Of course, shingles. We'll be installing three tab shingles today. A few pounds of one inch roofing nails. For our tools, we'll need a ladder, hammer, tape measure, and utility knife. We'll use a hooked blade in our utility knife designed to cut shingles. And for our drip edge, we'll need tin snips. Begin by cutting a piece of roofing felt a little bit longer than your roof. Begin at the lower edge of the roof and nail the roof felt using just a few nails. At both front and back, cut the felt flush to the roof panels. Install the next layer of felt, overlapping the first layer by about three inches. We'll continue putting on roof felt and cutting it flush to the roof panels. At the roof peak, let the felt overlap to the other side. Move to the opposite side of the roof and install felt the same way. Let's install the drip edge. We'll be putting drip edge only on the front and back of our barn style roof. Drip edge on the front and back of the roof is installed over the roof felt. Begin at the corner with the drip edge flush to the front trim. Attach by nailing through the top flange with one inch roofing nails. At a bend in the roof, we'll use tin snips and cut the bottom flange of the drip edge and carefully bend it over. When we put a second piece of drip edge on, make sure the upper drip edge overlaps the lower piece. Overlap about three inches. Finish installing the drip edge by snipping off at the corner. We're ready to shingle our roof. It's a good idea to familiarize yourself with a three-tab shingle. The shingle has a ceiling strip, two full rain slots, and half rain slots at the ends, and a notch for alignment. We'll begin by installing a starter row of shingles across the lower edge of the roof. The starter row shingles are put on with the rain slots upward. Locate the first starter shingle flush with the drip edge and with a one-inch overhang on the side of the roof. Three-tab shingles use four nails per shingle. Don't nail above the ceiling strip. Continue attaching shingles flush to each other and with a one inch overhang to complete the starter row. At the back of the roof, let the shingles overhang. We'll trim them later. Let's go back to the front and start the first row. Line up the notch on the first shingle with the drip edge and the lower edge flush to the starter row. Nail the shingle. Install the next shingle flush to the first. Notice that the ends together make a full rain slot. We'll continue installing the first row to the back of the roof. Let's start our second row. Asphalt shingles need to be staggered to prevent leaking. To stagger, we'll locate the first shingle flush with the drip edge. We'll continue installing the first row to the back of the roof. The lower edge is positioned flush to the rain slots of the first row underneath. Continue shingling, keeping ends tight and lower edges flush to the rain slots. Begin the third row with the shingle flush to the drip edge. We'll keep shingling alternating each row like the first and the second rows. At the bend in the roof, shingles should extend three inches to four inches over the bend and with the rain slot above the bend. We'll nail the tab on the shingles over the bend to keep them tight against the roof. At the peak, make sure there is five inches or less from the peak to the rain slot. Now we'll trim the last row of shingles to the peak with a utility knife. Carefully trim shingles flush to the drip edge. Almost done. Time to cap the ridge and complete our roof. We'll make our ridge cap from shingles we scored and broke off. Cut the ridge cap pieces with a slight angle on the end with no color. Start at the front of the roof. Install the first piece with the color side flush with the shingles. Nail near the ceiling strip with a couple of nails. Continue overlapping pieces so five inches of the previous cap shows. Do this all the way to the back of the roof. Now that's a great looking roof. Smooth and even looking shingles. That wasn't too hard, was it? Shingle correctly and your shed will look fantastic for years to come. Heartland.
the backyard storage experts with affordable shed kits that are easy, fast, and you can do it yourself.